A hairy monster is stalking the forests of Maine, a humanoid freak on the loose, and an unidentified thing found in a can of tuna. Here are 10 of the creepiest creature sightings ever made. Number 10. The Maine Monster Back in the 19th century, there was a creepy monster in the state of Maine, witnessed by lumberjacks that were out working in the woods, and it seems to have vanished from the local lore. While working in the dense forests of the northeastern United States, woodsmen, lodgers, and trappers began witnessing something that they'd called the Tote Road Shagama. This strange animal has skinny legs that end in hooves, with huge and hairy arms that have bear paws on the ends. It's also apparently able to walk on both its hands and feet, which confused woodsmen because they couldn't understand how a moose track suddenly switched to a bear track, then back again a quarter mile through the woods. The most reliable sighting was made by Gus Demo, who lived in Old Town. He was a hunter and a trapper in Maine for 40 years and was the first to describe the animal in detail. While there's never been any evidence of its existence, up until a few decades ago, the rural people of Maine were well aware of the bizarre hybrid skulking through their backyards. Nobody knows what happened to the creature or why it vanished, but it hasn't been seen in years. Is it hiding, or could it be hibernating in some cave? Number 9. The Goat Man The Prince George's County Goat Man is another bizarre monster that terrorized rural folks in the forests. The creature resided deep in Maryland, and according to the locals, it scared lovers at night, chased around teenagers, and sometimes even decapitated innocent dogs. There are a few different stories relating to the Goatman's origin, with some claiming he's a mystical beast like Bigfoot, while others say he was just a lonely goat herder who lost his mind and began roaming through the woods scaring people. Either way, it's insanely creepy. The first public story of the Goatman was in 1971 in Prince George's local news. The writer of the news article, Karen Hosler, exposed how the Goatman was hiding in the woods near Fletchertown Road. Just weeks after the article came out, a dog was discovered decapitated near that very road. This led to a collective fear that a bizarre goat-slash-human hybrid was on the loose. Sightings were reported with regularity. The Washington Post wrote an article about the beast, and the townspeople cowered in their homes at night, too scared to leave. But eventually, the fear diminished, and the legend of the goat man was quieted once more. Depending on who you ask, the creature is still stalking the woods around Prince George. Number 8. Humanoid Freak a mysterious humanoid creature was recently witnessed stalking a moose at night, creating panic on a worldwide scale. Nobody knows if the video footage is legit or not, but it's scary to watch nonetheless. The humanoid creature in the footage appears to be around six feet tall, though it's crouched over like some kind of spider goblin. It can be seen creeping out of the woods behind a moose, which had stopped behind a remote and isolated road in the middle of the Canadian wilderness. The humanoid is pale, twisted, and outright horrifying. Amazingly, the woman who took the footage, local resident Audrey Tangway Fretchett, didn't even notice the freak of nature until she looked at the footage later on. She was beyond terrified. If she had seen it at the time, she probably would have sped away screaming. Nobody has been able to identify the freaky thing, though some have said it could be the legendary Rake Beast, a Canadian monster kind of like Bigfoot, except way more freaky, looking like a naked mountain troll or golem from the Lord of the Rings. Number 7. Bigfoot in Oregon a hiker in Oregon may have just come face to face with Bigfoot. Everyone knows Bigfoot lives somewhere in the expansive wilderness of the Pacific Northwest. This is a hotspot for most Bigfoot sightings. Yet somehow, nobody has ever managed to get solid video evidence of the hairy monster. The same can be said about the footage taken by Mike Bodwitz, who shared his frightening encounter on TikTok. According to Mike himself, he was walking through a ravine when he noticed something big and scary watching him from the shadows of the trees. He couldn't tell if the creature was male or female, but it was definitely huge and menacing. He took a quick video of himself with the thing in the background. Unfortunately, all that can be seen in the smartphone footage is a blurry figure that could be a Bigfoot or could possibly just be a tree stump. We may never know if Bigfoot is real or just what kind of huge and unidentified monster is hiding in the forests of the Pacific Northwest, but this is as good a proof as any. Do you believe in Bigfoot? If so, where do you think he hides? Have you or anyone you know ever seen him? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number six, Alien Moth Monster. An alien-like moth monster has been spotted in Indonesia, and it's way beyond terrifying. A man living in Bali found what he can only describe as a tentacle monster living inside his house. He found the creature scaling up his wall, looking like a moth-spider-octopus hybrid. It was about a foot long and probably went into his house to take shelter from the rainstorm that was happening at the time. 
the unbelievable insect-like freak had what appeared to be four slimy and hairy tentacles coming out of its butt, a pair of wispy wings, and a small collection of legs at its front. The homeowner that caught the disturbing thing claimed that he had never seen anything like it before, and that he hopes he never sees anything like it again. And even though he never wants to see it again, he had this to say about it. I will let it stay in my house, but only for the night. I don't want it to scare my guests away. It's not something I've ever seen before. I don't think it comes from the neighborhood. Usually, people wouldn't hesitate to squash something like this as soon as they saw it, but this guy has a big heart. However, the crazy monster that was soon identified, experts suggest the creature was a type of moth from the family Arctiani. The disgusting tentacles coming out of its backside may actually be scent organs that is used to attract mates. In other words, the tentacles are its noses. Even if this monster is real, it's honestly freakier than anything else we've looked at today. Can you imagine letting an alien moth bigger than your head stay the night in your house? Number 5. Momo the Monster Roughly 50 years ago, Momo the Monster was sighted for the first time. It happened in the summer of 1971. According to the Louisiana Area Historical Society, Joan Mills and Mary Ryan were going down Highway 79 when they stopped to have a little picnic. It was in the middle of their picnic that something they described as half-ape, half-man came creeping out of the woods and nearly scared them to death. Ever since then, residents of both Louisiana and Missouri have claimed to witness a creature who stands on two feet, stinks worse than an old goat, and growls like a black bear. The first incident was so random that the police took it seriously. They combed the area for evidence of the monster, simply assuming that there was a big angry bear in the area. However, they never found anything. In 1972, one witness claimed that the monster had a very large tail, which conveniently sweeps away all of its footprints. And as absurd as the whole thing sounds, there were about a hundred people who gathered together at City Hall to put together a search party for Momo the monster, as the locals were terrified that there was a thing in the woods threatening to eat their kids and pets, but alas, they never found it. Search parties have since stopped looking, but that doesn't mean whatever it was won't make another appearance in the future. Number 4. Sea Serpent a creepy sea serpent recently washed up on a beach in Texas, and locals don't have the slightest clue as to what it is. The beast in question washed up on Padre Island. The eyewitnesses thought it was some kind of snake or eel, though it was honestly so weird to look at that they couldn't properly guess. Usually, when an unknown animal washes up on the shore, people post pictures online, and experts quickly give the proper identification. But in this case, the experts are just as stumped as everybody else. Here's the deal with the creature. It looks like a snake, yes. However, it's completely pale and has a body that is way too thick to belong to any snake. Padre Island Seashore Group thought it was a Texas blind snake, which does look kind of similar, but that turned out not to be the case. Some people say it's an unidentified species of snake eel, which buries itself in the sand and eats small fish. But despite all the speculation, nothing has really been ascertained. So far, as the experts are concerned, it's a snake eel hybrid, and that's it. Sightings like this make us wonder what other kinds of creepy species are lurking about, just waiting to be identified. After all, all known species were once unknown. Number 3. Human Face Fish In China, a weird fish with a human face recently freaked some people out. In a small village, the unbelievable fish was captured on video by a woman in the Mayo village. The fish appears to be a completely normal carp in every regard except for the fact that it has a human head, complete with a pointy nose, two dark eyes, and a mouth. Nobody knows how this could have happened. Some have claimed that the fish was a result of radioactivity in the water. Others speculated that maybe a human somehow figured out how to mate with a carp, though we shouldn't really even entertain that theory, and others are just simply stumped. There probably is no real logical explanation for the freak of nature, other than just that. It's a total anomaly. Maybe once every few hundred years, a carp is born with the features of a human being? What do you think? Do you have any theories about this weird human fish? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Number 2. The Figure on the Bridge Something bizarre was recently captured walking at night across a bridge in India, and locals can't decide if it was an alien or supernatural creature. A video was taken of the paranormal entity displaying a curious white figure walking across a bridge, looking like a ghost. It was strange because it happened in full view of a lot of people. The video even shows cars driving across the bridge and slowing down to gawk at the white specter. But clearly, it couldn't have been a ghost, as a ghost would never let itself be seen by so many curious citizens, right? Several 
people who witnessed the figure on the bridge that day said it was probably a witch, while others are positive it was an alien trying to return to its ship. In either case, the strange video ended and we don't know what became of the figure on the bridge. According to Newsweek, we're still waiting for the video's validity to be confirmed. But to be quite honest, there have been several videos recently, especially in India, showing creepy pale figures wandering alone at night, seemingly lost. Could these all be stray aliens trying to find their way back to their ships? Or something else? And number one, creature in a can of tuna. A woman named Zoe, a resident of Nottingham, England, opened a can of tuna for lunch and nearly screamed when she saw a bizarre creature staring back at her. Terrified, Zoe took a picture of the curious animal and sent it to the local newspapers, asking them to help figure out why there was a living monster inside of her can of tuna. According to CBS News, she also reached out to the company that manufactured the tuna. The company quickly apologized for the mysterious creature and said that if she sent the can of tuna back, they would look into the matter. However, that probably didn't make Zoe feel much better, considering the thing in her tuna looked like a tiny space alien. It took a bit of time, but the manufacturer did eventually get back to Zoe, apologizing for what they claimed was a megalopa inside her tuna. This is a tiny type of crab, and though it poses no safety risks, it's probably not what someone wants to eat for lunch. But here's where things get a little crazy. Experts from the Natural History Museum in London had a different answer for what the creature was. They said it was a tongue-eating louse, a kind of marine parasite which attaches itself to a fish's tongue and then steals the fish's food. If Zoe had eaten that can of tuna, she may have been left with a parasite attached to her tongue, or worse, no tongue at all. Thanks for watching. What would you do with the monster in your can of tuna? Which of these creatures on the list would terrify you the most if you had an encounter with them? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe and come back again for another crazy video. I'll see you on the next one.